welcome back everybody we are continuing our new journey of house of the dragon okay. so we're on episode two. First episode we met the targaryen kings and princes and princes and mm -hmm. all that stuff so king viserys wife was pregnant pretty much the yeah. baby was breached they ended up trying to do a c-section they both died so he named his daughter heir because nobody in his small council trusted his brother <laughs> and i think that's about where we left off at yeah yeah so they had a the, the little you know the games oh yeah they had while the, she was in labor they had the jousting and the fighting and all that stuff during yeah. the labor and damon got Got his butt kicked. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. It's very, yeah. That's about it, right? Yeah, that's all I Pretty remember. The birth. It's been a while since we watched the first episode, so that's about all I remember. At birth. And they. We, we just got to see that they got a lot more dragons. Well, yeah. at least two. We've seen two dragons. Mm hmm. And Damon rode off with the red one and his girlfriend, right? I don't think so. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's get into episode two and continue this. Is that recap? Oh yeah. The growing alliance among the free cities has taken to styling itself the Triarchy. Oh yeah, we got the crab beater guy. If those shipping lanes should fall, it will beggar our ports. Shall we discuss the heirs' tournament? To celebrate the firstborn son that we presently do not have. Oh, she locked, so Kristen. Has begun her labors. Like a hard labor. Yeah, very. Oh, yeah, and they they had saddles for their dragons that they rode on. They didn't have to wear out on bareback like Daenerys and oh, John yeah. did. And the man offered his daughter over there. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. You are to return to Runestone at once. By order of your king. I. Viserys Targaryen. Yeah, I kind of see his brother back. Nera Targaryen, heir to the Iron Throne. Yeah, they took they took all those uh, swords. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised they kept the same theme music. I figured I thought they would have changed it up a little bit. <clears throat> I don't like when they said it, they look, kind of look like paint, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like they've been in the water for a while. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ooh, that's ow, that would that would hurt. Mm. I'm gonna bring in. Eating, uh, eating up by crabs, like real crabs, not. I am the strong lord <laughs> commander of the king's guard. The other ones? <laughs> oh, that would hurt. My lords, king's guard must soon be restored to its full complement of seven. With the help of the hand, I've invited a number of fine candidates to court. All have passed fair trials. <laughs> Four ships have now been lost. The last one was flying my banner. The Steptons have now grown into a conflagration, yet you sit here and dither about court business. I want to seize the Stepstones by force and burn out this crab feeder. I am not prepared to start a war with the Free Cities. Uh, what reason does the crab feeder have to fear us? Well, <laughs> he's, he's like, he had a dumbfounded look on his face. He's like, oh. you're like, well, you got a point there. Yeah. Caution you, Lord Corliss. A seat at the king's table does not make you his equal. I have acted, Court. I've sent ten boys to Pentos and Volantis to see if we might find common cause. The Stepstones will be settled. In time. You have Dragon Riders, father. Look at him over there. He like, oh, this girl, if she don't be quiet. <laughs> Send us. It isn't that simple, Runera. It would be a show of force. Or at least the princess has a plan. <laughs> Perhaps... Uh... There's some better use for the princess's talents, Your Grace. Why don't you take the princess to see about the new King's Guard posting, Lord Commander? Mm -hmm. 
That's a fine so, idea. So you name it your heir, but then you don't want to listen to none of her ideas. That's or let allow her to sit in on the thing. Yeah. So how's she how's she supposed to learn how to like rule if y'all are just gonna kick her out and make her do women's stuff? Because they know in the end they ain't gonna let her be queen, probably. Yeah. Sir Desmond Catton. A fine knight, Princess. Oh, here come old slithering and sneaky man up. I don't trust that douchebag. You remind me of. I don't know who you remind me of. <laughs> you might thank him for his leal service, Princess. We thank you for your loyal service to the crown, sir. You got that big ass feather on your helmet for a peacock. <laughs> Prancing around. Sir Raymond Malister, son of Lord Lyman Malister of Seagard. Winner of the melee at Cider Hall. He was the last mounted of three and twenty knights. Sir Iman was knighted at eight and ten. Mm -hmm. Many of these knights have combat experience. Hmm. As Catherine Poaches ain't no <laughs> combat experience. Sir Kristen Cole. Wait. I don't know. Don't you want somebody that seen war? So they, they all these damn politicians, man. They you see. Uh... Be welcome, Sir Kristen. You saw combat in the Stormlands. I fought for a year as a foot soldier against the Dornish incursions. Sir Arlen Dondarrion knighted me after. Yeah, her nails polished. <laughs> I choose Sir Kristen Cole. Let's not be too hasty. And you told her to come out there and do it. Kristen is a fine warrior, but houses such as Crickle and Malister are important allies of the crown. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat. Should he not? Of course, Princess. <laughs> yeah. The Valyrian capital was built into a volcano, much like Dragonstone. Why would you build a city in a volcano? That's pretty stupid. Because if it ever goes, you're going with it. Uh, yeah. I guess that's what happened to old Valyria, the doom of old Valyria. Uh -huh. Do you believe that Westeros can be another Valyria, Your Grace? Well, that depends whether you speak of the freehold at its height or at its fall. Over a thousand dragons. A navy large enough to span the seas of the world. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. Seven hills. Yeah, they see you in there, so you can. What do you mean? Well, these days she doesn't say more than a few words to me. I think she might find it difficult. Oh, well, she was trying to talk to you in the meeting. You just kind of brushed her off. Take time. Huh. It did when I lost my own mother. I wish she would approach me. What if you went to her? There are times when I would rather face the Black Dread himself than mine own daughter of 15. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think she would open herself to you if invited. You do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? I fear that she wouldn't understand them. I don't think she understands them. <laughs> she understands what her daddy wants her to do. Mm-hmm. Sneaky me. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, want her to hooky, hooky, uppy, uppy. I know those men and how they plot in their secret councils when I've been sent away. You cannot <laughs> worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. What if your father were to be Mary? Your father loves you. He chose you for his heir. He didn't choose me, he spurned Damon. Okay, I must have missed it. Because she just picked that stick, a uh, burn stick, and blew it out. Aren't you supposed to burn another candle? I think she lit one. Uh, I just probably couldn't see it because mm. the other girl was blocking her. But Okay. Because so I'm like... Well, it did look like she just picked it up, lit it, and blew it out. Yeah. Because I thought you might try. If not for me, then perhaps for them. He did it right. <laughs> What do I say? Whatever you wish. <sighs> My own father does not know the language of girls either. When I wish to talk with him, oh. <laughs> I know that I must make the effort. <laughs> Mm, 
And I found out about her, her daddy and her, her best friend. Mm. She ain't gonna be happy if she found out about that. I'm glad we could meet. I know tempers ran hot today, but I wanted to assure you how much I value the bond between our houses. Mm. I wish to apologize for the tenor at the small council today, Your Grace. Your fleet is one of the realm's most important assets, Lord Corlys. But you must understand, as king, it is my obligation to avoid war until such time it is unavoidable. Might I speak plainly, Your Grace? I always welcome the unfettered thoughts of my king. Like, go ahead. I fear that the eyes of our enemies are presently fixed on the Red Keep. The Queen has passed. A girl has been named heir to the Iron Throne, the first in its history. The King's brother, so disinherited, has claimed the Targaryen seat on Dragonstone without challenge. You paint such an aspirant portrait of my reign, Lord Corlys. It is an honest one, cousin. <laughs> At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. And a blind incursion in the Stepstones is the only way to demonstrate that we are not? To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or around it. But you must never await its coming. Do you have a specific course of action to propose? My lord, join our families. Where'd our daughter, Lena? That's a weird our daughter. Yeah. I, I guess that's how they... Like, aren't y'all family? <laughs> well, they're related, but just cousins. They're not like... I haven't given marriage much thought. They're like distant family, I guess. Mm -hmm. You could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. We haven't spoken much since. A regret of mine. We should be free to speak our minds to one another. Mm-hmm. But she knows she can't. <laughs> yeah. I loved your mother. Very much. Today at small council. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But... You will learn. <laughs> you will learn your place. Is that what yeah. he's trying to say? I guess. He don't even know his freaking place. <laughs> he a king and he don't even know it. Ew. 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 Got some that gangrene hate. going on. <laughs> no, Grace. You ain't saving that. You might as well just cut it off. Flesh and hopefully stop the advance of the rot. Uh. I held an audience earlier today with Lord Corlys and Princess Rhaenys. He proposed a marriage. To whom? Your Grace? The Lady Lena. Mm-hmm. Thank you, dear. Lord Corliss has overreached, Your Grace. Such matters must be discussed with a small council. That is what I'm doing. What is your advice, dear Otto? Mm. Dear Otto? Is young, Your Grace. Indeed, but the wounds made by the Great Council still linger, my king. A match with their daughter would go a long way towards... Sealing the breach. The <laughs> killer pierced. <laughs> mm. The Grand Maester's reasoning is sound. I do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, Your Grace? Her mother has passed. Her father must propagate the royal line. And you're the reason why that baby passed. They were over there struggling to breathe, <laughs> and you were just sitting there not doing nothing. Dearly loved my own lady wife. Why do they say lady wife? Maybe because me and Sip were me and back then. I don't know. Well, she, maybe, you know. You know, Oberon, he, he got around with everybody. <laughs> Who? Him? Oberon. Oh. Martell. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. How <laughs> old oh, is this kid? She looked 10. It was like a. Five-year-old walking next to him. Looked like a hobbit. <laughs> what was it like flying the Black Dread? You Valerians lost Ryder. I think they did better with that wig on that girl. That's way too big for her head. Mm -hmm. Your Grace. It would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in old Valeria. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood so that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Is that what your father told you to say? Pretty much. That's <laughs> like pretty much. What did your mother tell you? That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turned 14. 
Is that four years? I don't know. <laughs> see look like, like six or seven. Shit. Like she in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? I'm 14, a little young, too. Yeah. To be having Love kids. Young. It bothers you, does it not? My father is a king. It is his duty to take a new wife and strengthen his line. I did not ask for a lesson in politics. I asked whether this bothers you. Lena is your daughter, Princess. Does it bother you? Of course it does. Huh. But I understand the order of things. I'm not sure you do. Why y'all be trying to pick fight with this girl? Whether it's to my daughter or to someone else's, your father will remarry. His new wife will produce new heirs. And chances are better than not that one of those will be male. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, the men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you. Hmm. He's telling you how it is. But the men of the realm already had their opportunity to appoint a ruling queen at the Great Council, and they denied it. They denied you, Princess Rhaenys. The queen who never was. Hmm. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell you. She kind of remind me of Lena. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. To, to you straight. I like characters that do the that. The small council is urging me to remarry. And she, can, she can do that, but not be so harsh with it. Because she jealous. Hey. That's, the, that's her reason. I'm behind. She ain't picked. I'd be pissed yeah. too. A good and kind queen will give comfort to yourself. Oh, yeah. I thought he was talking to her nerve. Yeah, we're talking to this heifer again. Yeah. <laughs> Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, Lord Corliss Bellarion has offered the hand of his daughter. A very strong match, your grace. Why is she looking like that? Like she wanted to be her? I don't know. She, she like her daddy. Because you saw the expression on her face. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be her. She like her daddy. She wanted to be her. Yeah. Well, I'm sure most girls no. are a big queen. Not me. Well, I'm a well, queen in my own house. Back then, that you probably would want to be instead of living in like. I'm a queen old. of my own house, so I can get it. I asked the stone masons to mend it. This is. Uh... A very kind gesture, Alicent. Very kind. Come. The hand, Your Grace. Your Grace, I've called the small council to an emergency session. Why? I think it best to hear it directly. In, aren't you like directly? <laughs> directly from who? <laughs> aren't you here to tell him directly? Atroxios introro macitas exis nuis. Scorchidosa, Zedris, Zedroman, Tomepsa, Uliroti, Riladixa. Darinoros, Daimon, Siki, Asida, Sig. Diamond. The prince left a missive which I believe might explain. It is the pleasure of Daemon Targaryen, the prince of Dragonstone and rightful heir to the Iron Throne, to announce that he is to take a second wife in the tradition of old Valyria. She is to assume the title Lady Missaria of Dragonstone. Her grace is with child and is to have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's cradle. Hmm. Has invited you to his wedding, your grace. Who is Lady Missaria? <laughs> we believe... Damon's Hall. My brother wishes to provoke me. To answer is to give him what he wants. The realm is watching, your grace. What would you have me do? Send him to the wall. Perhaps I could put his head on a spike. Scorio Dromon Daemon Leitas. Dromon Hidrozo Iles Dariloros. Dariloro Belo Matsumile. Oh, so they don't, he ain't gonna do nothing but his baby's egg. They want to freaking do a damn. He want to get off his ass and do something. Uh -huh. <laughs> Without limit. Let me go to Dragonstone. Maybe he get killed. 
I doubt if we're that lucky. <laughs> you know, Game of Thrones don't ever kill the people you want to get killed. <laughs> Not this early into a, <laughs> into a series. Now, if somebody you like and don't want them to die, yeah, they'll take them out in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. You're the most comely god at court. Why do you destroy yourself? Because of you. When you see the king tonight. If you wish it. Good day, Sir Christian. My lady. I've assembled 20. Oh, he got a damn metal girdle on. The hell <laughs> kind of armor is that shit? Maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> I was about to say the where same the, Where's the top of it at? Maybe I'm missing something too, because that looked like a. <laughs> it's about girdle, like. Let me protect my stomach, my, my neck, or, or arms, or shoulders, or anything else. Where my heart is. Maybe we just missed it or something. Maybe. Maybe it's just covered up with his whatever. His cape walking around like he a superhero and shit. Well, they all got capes. Cloaks. Let's see. Well. I don't know, but it is open. <laughs> it is open. That's a cool shot. I wonder where they filmed this at. I wonder if this is like a real castle that had like a walk up to it like this. Yeah, maybe we're missing it. Maybe it's under the green. Maybe it's got some metal under the green. Yeah. Look at him, he was skiing. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. Your occupation of this island is at an end. You're to relinquish the dragon's egg, disband your army, banish your whore, hmm. and leave Dragonstone by order of his grace, King. He's looking at him like... His grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. Sir Crispin, wasn't it? Sir Crispin Cole, my prince. Ah, yes, apologies. I couldn't recall. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. <laughs> Very good. This is a truly pathetic show, Damon. <laughs> I'm simply keeping with the traditions of my house, the same as my brother did for his heir. Those traditions are for the true-born children of royalty, not for bastards fathered on a common whore. Lady Missaria is to be my wife. This is an abomination. <laughs> You've come for the egg. Here it is. Mm. Are you mad? You'd never survive this. Well, happily, neither would you. <laughs> he like, <laughs> he like, oh, come on now. That we don't want to fight. <laughs> Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. <laughs> Where your sword is? That's all I'm saying. He ain't no fighter. Uh oh. It's like a snake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a python or something. Mm -hmm. Like a python. All of you, see the fucking steel. Because he won't die. Nah. Hmm. Oh, that was cool. Saw <laughs> oh, that cloud moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude got his mouth wide open. <laughs> Oh, Kristen, he's he's uh, enamored by them dragons, ain't he? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here, Princess? Preventing bloodshed. Sir Kristen, please escort the Princess to safety. Take care not to startle Sir Axe, my lords. She's rather protective of me. 
Que panuja ines ed risdoro, darira rosso brostas, que su uglesa luon zombas mi anuhon isa, que pus? Ia se la vosse e auro tao. Ved rosso dari o hi ikida. Tubi maneri nike te niklas. Apresiri ziri ema. Treptan li tao. Seke jo sut nuhon vronkron, dromon laudigon ao belvitas. Pipot zatre zomi mazen pilon vule, konir nuhon ruho sut tailan. Razilari tubi. Hmm. He's like one day. Hmm. Right here, uncle. The reason that you were disinherited. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. So do it. And be done with all this bother. <laughs> she boat. He wouldn't kill his niece. Now nah, that's the one person he really liked. Yeah. Did I see? See what I did there? Mm -hmm. yeah, I no bloodshed. She looked pissed. I'd <laughs> be like, what's she in there smoking for? <laughs> you are lost. Are we were to be wet? On the morrow. And that I was with child. Oh, so she must have known what was this plan. <laughs> Didn't look like it. By child and birth. Good. Children can be such irritating creatures. <laughs> Diamond. Diamond. No one will harm you. I have been sold this property more times than I care to count. Most of my years I've been spent living in terror. You're safe with me, I swear it. You are Targaryen. You can afford to play your stupid games with the king, but I cannot. Quit playing with it before you drop it again, clumsy. <laughs> no, please, Lord Lionel. Hmm. I have come looking for an unencumbered opinion. That's all I would ever give, Your Grace. Hmm. Lena Valarian. Lord Corliss is your master of ships. And she is the eldest daughter of the wealthiest house in the realm. She comes from unimpeachable Valyrian stock. And she has Targaryen blood. What's to miss like? She is twelve. Mm, she was twelve. Mm. What if I was to reject Lord Corlys' proposal? He would not be like to take it well. I fear nothing short of a direct line to the Iron Throne would satisfy him. Mm. You should also consider that we find ourselves on the precipice of war in the Stepstones. And the sea snake holds claim to nearly half the realm's ships. So I wonder what happened to the court, these people between now and Game of Thrones, and you don't see them. Yeah. They got all the ships. This is the Greyjoy that had all the ships. If you truly want my unencumbered opinion, I do. You should wed Lena Valarian, Your Grace. Mm. Save Lord Corlys and fix him at your side. Your Grace, the princess has returned from Dragonstone. Dragons go. <laughs> Your Grace. <laughs> you wanna snitch on her? <laughs> you fled King's Landing without a word, and you acted without the crown's leave. You are my only heir. You could have been killed. <laughs> May I sit? You're like, what? You wanna sit? I'm so to you, you wanna sit? Well, if you're gonna stall me, let me sit down. Yeah, for real. You went to Dragonstone. And retrieved the egg without bloodshed. A feat I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. 
Yes. Well, I sometimes forget how alike you both were. Your mother's absence is a wound that will never heal. Without her, the Red Keep has lost a warmth, and I dare say it will never recover. It pleases me to hear you say this, to know mm. that I'm not alone in my grief. I struggled to realize that my daughter had so quickly become a woman grown. <laughs> but I know she understands what is now expected of me. The king must take a new wife. I could never replace your mother. Huh. And I intend to replace you as heir. Are you going to marry that young girl? You are my only heir. And our line is vulnerable. Too easily ended. And by marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Against whom? Whomever may dare to challenge us. You are the king. And so your first duty is to the realm. Hmm. Mother would have understood this just as I do. Don't mean you, get, don't mean you like it. <laughs> your face is showing something different. <laughs> She understands, mm -hmm. you know, she understands the order of things. Good morrow, my lords. What's she doing there? I don't know. He gonna marry that girl, that little girl. Like that. I intend to marry. The Lady Alice and Hightower. That's why she did. Mm. But I'll tear her doggone fingers up. <laughs> mm. He's pissed. This is an absurdity. Mm. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. And I am your king. Hmm. Wow. Look at him. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Like, see? Mm -hmm. Told you I will always have his. Told you I didn't trust that dude. This heifer right here. Mm. She's so hurt. Yeah. Renera. Hmm. She's so hurt. You stupid. How are you going to marry her best friend? Yeah. And think it's okay. And not even like let her know beforehand. Yeah. Let's just bring this on you in front of everybody. House Valerian's origins reach back to old Valyria. But unlike the Targaryens, we were no dragon lords. For centuries, my house had to scratch out an existence from the sea. When I ascended the Driftwood throne, I knew what I wanted. So I went out and seized it. I've always thought of you and I as having been made from the same cloth. Rebellious. <laughs> of course you go around the daemon. Of course. I wasn't aware you had a king for a brother. We're both men who have had to cut our own way through the world. Did you call me to Driftmark to remind me of my low standing, Lord Corliss? Or was there some other reason? You've heard of the troubles in the Stepsteps. Some Mirish prince is feeding Westrossi sailors to the crabs. I have been petitioning the king to send my navy into the territory. But he's denied me. No, it was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Hmm. Being king. <laughs> <laughs> the crab feeder is backed by powerful entities within... You got the grayscale? <laughs> <laughs> If those shipping lanes fall, my house will be crippled. I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls and tourneys. I will speak of my brother as I wish. Mm -hmm. You will not. Family is family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a chance for you to prove your worth to any who might yet doubt it. We are the realm's second sons, Damon. Our worth is not given. It must be made. Okay. All right. 
Well, well, well. Now it took a turn. <laughs> I'm surprised he took that girl. I'm not. Fucking that, that was all sneaky, sneaky playing the whole time. Let me keep let me see my and daughter. Right in he there. looked at him like, hmm. Uh, he, he was so proud of himself when Corliss looked at him. He's like, I just want to fucking punch him in his face. <laughs> I don't like that dude. I hope he died in a vicious manner. Venaris, <laughs> she is pissed. Oh, uh, yeah. I would be pissed too. How are you going to do something like that and you not? Yeah, you like, you know? and then, so she just got. So she now she know her best friend. Then she's been talking been to been her, lying to her, about yeah. doing shit behind her back, and then she know her her daddy lying to her and doing shit behind her back. Yeah. So now she think her, now she think her, her best friend is playing both sides. Well, she is. Oh yeah, she. I know she is. She's she's cunning and and sneaky and deceptive, like her daddy is. You know all that. She all that. Yeah, this is not going. This is not going to turn out good. <laughs> I, I, I want to see how it turns out with, because I'm pissed too. How the heck? Well, first of all, that lets me know you're not my best friend. No. First of all, as you sneaky and underhanded and you're doing this, you could have told me that my your dad sent me t- sent you to you, my yeah. dad. You know, you could have told me that. And yeah, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think. Oh, this is my thought process. It's just me, y'all. But I don't think she gonna take too kindly to her best friend being her stepmother. Oh, I don't think so either. So uh, she don't take too kindly to nothing, or right? she don't. <laughs> she's not one of them rule followers, and she ain't going. She. I just she and if that girl yeah, sit up there, open her mouth and say, "I'm your step, I'm gonna punch her out." You can punch her in her mouth. Let me tell you that. You can punch her. Yeah. So, she ain't gonna she ain't gonna go for that. But I, let's, tell that I wanna see, I wanna go on and see what the end gonna be. <laughs> I would like to yeah. It's it's interesting. Okay, let's get up there, you know. Let's get up there. Yeah. So it's gonna get it's gonna get it. I got a feeling it's gonna get ugly. I think it's gonna get ugly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want I want her aunt, what's her name? Alice Daddy to die. Oh, I, Otto. Yeah. He on my list. Look, he on my list, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Is he sneaky? He need to get cunning. dracarist. Yeah. <laughs> Burnt. Somebody burn him. So yeah. Right. <laughs> We're so violent. We ain't violent people, I promise y'all. We not. We're really not. So thank you guys for joining us on this journey. Of the House of Dragons. If this is your first time, go ahead, subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye bye.